In this, the fourth class of our 2022 Municipal Campaign School, we will focus on three activities that will help every campaign end well. We've collected feedback from women who have run for office and worked on successful campaigns in the past. All are happy to share their suggestions for how to maximize your efforts when speaking to the public, how to get out the vote, and tips to maintain your motivation and energy throughout a busy campaign period. Speaking in public to a large group of people or appearing in the media spotlight may seem intimidating to some running for office. In reality, these are all just opportunities for you to deliver the same message you have delivered at the door, but with a larger audience. As many of the events are recorded and available online afterwards, it's also free advertising for your campaign. The number of all candidate meetings and media opportunities vary greatly across Grey Bruce. They are usually organized by community groups like local agricultural societies and chambers of commerce or visual media organizations like Rogers TV. A list of all registered candidates will be readily available and these organizations will reach out to invite you to participate. All candidate opportunities are intended to raise awareness of who is running and to hear their position on local issues. Watch the 2018 Grey Bruce All Candidate Meetings and Media Presentations still available online. You will see the various formats and past candidates in action. It's a great way to develop presentation strategies that best suit your personality and style. You will also get a good idea of the types of questions that are asked. These questions are not usually provided in advance, so it's a good idea to know current issues and areas of interest to local voters. You will hear about them as you go door to door. Watching recent municipal or county meetings online is another great way to identify current discussions and recent decisions relating to them. Your team can also be a good source for potential questions to answer. Having prepared answers to these questions will give you confidence. There may be questions asked not on your list, so prepare some standard answers that highlight your experience and what you will bring to the Municipal Council table. Begin creating your list early. The answers will help guide conversations at the door and in other group settings. Look into local community groups where you can make a short speech and answer questions. A speech based on your Why I'm Running story is best used, tailored to the group. Keep your responses to questions short, and if you don't know the answer, don't be afraid to say that, but also add what approach you will take in making decisions in the future. Some of the elected officials we spoke with advised not to make promises you can't keep. You may find your position on a specific issue changes when you receive more information and context. This is the time to convey your experience and demonstrate your leadership skills and relatability. A lot of people don't enjoy public speaking, so if the idea of an all candidates meeting has you a little nervous, you are not alone. Three things will help you deliver a performance of which you can be proud. The work on your campaign has prepared you for this. You've created your story and know what skills you bring to the table. You are now more aware of local issues and have created responses to questions. So you know your stuff. Practice your opening and closing statements until you know them inside out. Rehearse them in front of a mirror, then with your team, or use Zoom to record and rewatch it afterwards to perfect your delivery of the message. Time your statements, speaking slowly and including pauses. There is nothing worse than being stopped by the moderator before your message is complete. Your audience will be left with the impression you couldn't manage the time allowed when they are looking for leaders who can manage much more. Besides knowing your material well and practicing, there are a few things you can do to help manage any last minute jitters. Maintain good posture, whether sitting or standing. It will give you confidence. When others are speaking, listen carefully and maintain a pleasant yet neutral demeanor. 
You can use a pencil to write down notes or highlight parts of your message that are relevant to the discussion. Resist the temptation to nod, frown, or fidget with your papers. That gets noticed and can be distracting to others. At the beginning, pick out several friendly faces in the audience and make eye contact during your opening and closing remarks. Take the time to chat with other candidates before and after the event. After all, these are people you could be working with in the future, and you're all in the same boat now. Be open, friendly, and supportive. It will help you relax and make the event more enjoyable for everyone. Then, take a deep breath and tell yourself, I've got this, because you do. Several of the women we spoke with suggested joining a local public speaking group like Toastmasters. There are several chapters in the Grey Bruce region conducting regular meetings online. Guests are always welcome and you will quickly pick up tips that will greatly increase your confidence when speaking in public. The term get out the vote means encouraging those who are supporters to follow through by casting their vote. It is said that many campaigns are won or lost on their ability to do just that. The date for municipal elections is set as the third Monday in October every fourth year. In 2022, that is Monday, October 24th. Current Council will have approved the method of voting before nominations open on May 2nd. The Clerk's Office will determine advanced polling dates and locations or the voting period if alternative voting methods are approved. For those municipalities electing ward representatives, the municipality may determine that polling locations are required within each ward if using traditional ballots. In Ontario, the voters list is maintained by the Municipal Property Assessment Corporation, or MPAC. Voters are encouraged to check online to see if they are on the voters list in advance. If they find they are not on the list, they can contact their municipal office to receive instructions on how to be added in time to vote on election day. Candidates may pick up a copy of the voters list from the municipality and are usually given a choice of paper copy or one provided on a USB key. The candidate must sign a statement saying the information will be kept confidential and will be destroyed at the end of the campaign. Whether and how you use the information will depend on the number of people on your team and your ability to use the data. The majority of the elected officials we spoke with did not use the voters list in any significant way, so that is something to consider in your planning. When speaking with voters, you may discuss why it's important to vote in municipal elections. If you are running in an area with many vacation properties, remind the owners they are allowed to vote in municipal elections in both their primary and secondary property locations. During these conversations, it's important to realize that every single vote matters. In 2018, the difference between candidates who secured a position versus those who did not was a matter of hundreds of votes, not thousands. In one Grey Bruce municipality, the difference was only 15 votes, so every conversation is important. Local information about voting dates and how to vote will be distributed by the municipality. However, you may find that many you speak with are still confused about how, where, and when to vote. This is especially true in municipalities with a combination of in-person, by phone, or online options. Make sure everyone on your team is aware of the facts so they can easily communicate them to others. Include key election information on any material you distribute for easy reference later. As mentioned in Class 3, you can make a note of those who have made positive statements when you knock on doors. One of the first questions to ask is if they have voted in a past election. If someone has a history of voting, they are more likely to vote this time around. 
If they express interest in your campaign, ask if they would like a sign. Then ask for contact details so you can send more information in the future. Email addresses are best, but phone numbers are also helpful. Then, you can follow up with email reminders about all candidate meetings or call to remind them of advanced voting dates and again a few days prior to Election Day. A sample canvassing form will be available upon request from the Elector Now website in early May. It will help you keep a record of the information collected during door knocking activities. In your conversations, always mention early voting options. This reduces the chance a vote will be lost if a conflict arises on Election Day. Have everyone on your team vote early so you can spend Election Day on other things like reminding supporters to vote or being a scrutineer at the polling station. Guard the privacy of all contact information and always provide an opt-out option for future calling and emails. It is good practice to destroy the contact information gathered immediately following the election. As every vote counts, you and your team may wish to revisit those neighborhoods where higher levels of interest were expressed. You may also consider sending an unaddressed flyer through Canada Post with updated information closer to Election Day. These are easy to order online and you can select specific postal routes targeting high potential neighborhoods. The process typically takes two to four weeks, so plan ahead. In this campaign school, we've covered how to decide to run, filing your nomination papers, building your team, plan and finances, getting your message out, and working to ensure every supporter votes. Before we finish, we'd like to share the secret ingredient in all successful campaigns. A campaign is a busy period with lots of demands on your time. Whether you are a candidate or volunteer on the team, having the energy and balance to tackle what needs to get done is critical to your success. It also means ending the campaign feeling positive about the future, and that takes mindful planning. Start with the basics. Many candidates live on sodas and pizza, and this diet may not be the best fuel to keep your engine running. Try to maintain a regular sleep ritual and drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. Your body will thank you for these three basic practices. Carve out time to spend away from the campaign. You may want to be quietly on your own or with others. Grey Bruce has many amazing areas to connect with nature. For a true getaway, why not explore a few in some of the other 16 municipalities nearby? Reserve time in your campaign schedule for these types of activities and to pamper yourself. It may be a well-deserved foot soak, massage, or a dinner out with family and friends. The time you spend away from the campaign trail will help give you balance and recharge your batteries. A good way to build resilience is to practice gratitude. It truly lifts the spirit. Take time to thank your team, share light moments together, and send thank you messages to your supporters. When you practice gratitude, you will be reminded you have the support of others who believe in you and you are not alone. Your supporters will be delighted you took the time to appreciate them during such a busy period. And finally, plan to end your campaign well. It's true, not everyone who runs gets elected, but all can take the time to reflect and celebrate the team effort. You will recall the difficult times and laugh at the comical moments, sharing memories of the past few months as you work together. Many candidates organize team parties for election night or a day or so later when the lawn signs are collected. Whatever you decide to do, 
Remember there is a separate smaller spending limit for this type of activity. Spending the time to look back on your campaign and being thankful will help you prepare for what lies ahead. Following this campaign school, Elector Now has other activities planned to support candidates and their teams during the upcoming campaign period. In early May, the Elector Now website will be updated to highlight campaign resources. Think of it as an online shopping centre with lots of information, open 24 hours a day, and everything is free. There you will find answers to frequently asked questions, links to YouTube videos and tip sheets, volunteers will respond to emails and connect those who wish to chat with experienced people under the Election Connections program. Take the time to visit our website and thank you for your interest. Together, we can bring more diversity to our local political table.